good morning we up at adam we outside again as you can see we at the airport babe tell them where we going we're going to key west because i want some key lime pie so and you know where that goes with a mojito <laughs> stay tuned <laughs> say I'm always working this is what I'm talking about I'm editing our last vlog our Grand Cayman's vlog I'm editing that now while recording footage for our new vlog how that works pulling up to Key West Airport safe travels we made it we made it safely take this jacket off ASAP. It's hot. And the best part about this trip is we don't gotta go through customs. Hey, get straight Woo! to the festivities. Yeah. You made it. So as soon as you get off the plane, they bring you right out to the rental car section. So if you got a rental car, grab your rental car and you out. They bring you right out to it. So that's beautiful. So this is the outside of the airport. And I gotta say, it's a very small airport. Look how small this is. Wow. It had one, maybe two baggage claims, and that was it. So it's very small. So we pulled up. Woo! We here. Key West, Key West, Key West. We about to live it up. Stay tuned. We're going to show y'all what Key West got to offer, the restaurants. We're going to see about the nightlife now. Give us a break because it is Tuesday. We're going to see how it's hitting out here. They claim the Ball Street is like um, New Orleans Bourbon Street. And they said it's a party town. So we're going to see if it's a party town. It should be popping on Tuesday, right? Going up on a Tuesday. Going up on a Tuesday. Stay tuned, y'all. Yes, Cash and Touring takes over Key West. Remember we was at that bar in Puerto Rico, they had all the ones as always, lined up. Guys, to be me is pure West. Pure mandatory. That's right. That's all layered through there. We done showed y'all a couple money bars. So, you know, we had to get us some food. Eating at the Famous DJ's Clam Shack. It's the home of the world famous lobster roll. We got our lobsters. We got the roll. See what's going on. We're going to give y'all a review. Let y'all know what it's hitting for. Key West style. You know they off the water. So this, this, this lobster roll better be fresh. So guess what y'all. So they said they were on the triple D. Y'all know what that is? Diners, drives, and drive-ins. Or what, however you say it. So boom, it's weird out here, right? See spots like this, you would think this is a house. Ah, oh, it's a house. Nope, this is a resort. So they got a lot of resorts that look like houses out here, as you can see. You think you're in a residential, you pull up, you book your room. They got this house looking feel. But we got something else though. We ain't really digging that house look, you feel me? When I when I step out of town, I want to feel like I'm in somewhere. I want to feel like I'm staying at somebody's crib, you feel me? So this is the famous lobster roll with the homemade mayo. mayo on it. He said he put the butter on the side because he wants us to taste it with the homemade mayo first. We like to mix the butter and mayo combo. All right, these famous lobster roll. Let's see what it's hitting for. It got all this green stuff in it. What's this? Oh, it's huge. 
making a mess. Making a mess for that lobster roll. <laughs> Our spot. Nice spot across from the water. Let's see what it's hitting for. I see something I like already. 444. Four, four. You know, you know. Let's see what the hotel room vibes is looking like. It's Libby. Hello. Hello. Time to check in. Nice vibes. She was a statue for a second, or was she just sitting there like that? Oh, uh, still, she a prop for the seashell. <laughs> Village market, get some drinks to see what's going on. Hers is tasting too good. Look how she making mine. Ooh, that looks good. So look how they housing look, y'all, in the Key West. These the PJs right here. <laughs> look a lot different from the PJs in your hood, huh? Keep it real. So me and Bay walking the famous Duval Street. We on another strip, Key West Strip. They say this strip is similar to New Orleans. And I definitely feel like it is like, you know, a main strip is Duval Street to be compared to Bourbon Street. And then they got little back streets and stuff that you can go to. They got restaurants and stuff. It's a pretty little nice vibe. Speaking of pretty nice vibes. Look at her. This is a key lime martini, so we're sipping key lime martini in Key West, baby. Ooh. How did it taste? But it's liquor, you want to taste the liquor. some Argentina steak empanadas. So if you don't know, we had eight at an Argentina place. Oh. And carousel. So good. And this one right here, she ain't stopped talking steak. about it since. <laughs> she loved that Argentina yes, steak. Yes, your mouth steak. Oh. Uh, so we seen these empanadas, we was just walking by. I said, we gotta try these out. Let's get a little taste of steak. So 
So the empanadas? Yeah. So good. So good. Oh, there. Bartender? Yeah, he was on point. Bartender, he told, he said it was good. Like a Argentina steak right here. Top of the line. So I told y'all we was coming here to Key West to eat some key lime pie. So it's time. Let's see what that key lime pie is hitting for. Here we go. The famous. They're not playing about they key lime pie up in here. <laughs> so we in Key West eating key lime pie. I got the key, key, key. I got the keys, keys, keys. But nah, this key lime pie is banging. Key lime. It's good. I ain't know if I was gonna like it or not, but it's good. It got like a little lime type of like cheesecake type of taste. It's definitely good. I told y'all they want to be Bourbon Street so bad. I told y'all. I told y'all. It's hot out here. I'm sweating bullets. I'm sweating bullets. They sweating too. You ain't got to do much to I'm sweat. All you got to do is step outside. About to go to it and see how it is. Let's check out What's up? Hey, I'm Yes! This is oh, super cute. Oh, bye. Yeah. This is hot. Okay. What are we sitting on? Um, sipping on some scissors. <laughs> <laughs> nah. this place this is huge and I'm on a diet I know I'm trying to eat clean why is she doing this to me why is she doing this to me I'm trying to eat clean which one should be on a diet and eat healthy and what's the best to? one all, all of them look at that this good thing look at this bro Stumbled across this taco place. They got empanada street tacos. I just got me a brisket. Oh, brisket street tacos. Got me empanadas. Yeah, he said it's the bomb. So, so I got a brisket taco. And I got a shrimp street taco. And you see Bay over there. She got a, a smoked sausage street taco. And she's stuck on her face. Is it good or not? back down there it dried up a lot everybody left all the places started closing up it's tuesday night we expected it so we're back at the spot now time to go night night we'll see y'all in the morning for some adventure rise and grind from beautiful key west The 
Let's see what today is going to bring. Let's see what Key West has to offer. Good morning, y'all. I'm all dressed. We ready to spend our day out in Key West. We're going to go to the beach. Let's see. So first stop, we pulling up to Kim's Cuban. It's a real heavy Cuban influence over Key West, so the, the Cuban food supposed to be hitting. So we about to see what these Cuban Cubanos are hitting. Kim's Cubano, and this is catching our eye right here. This is looking really good. Bae says she want to try it. It's new. Yeah, order it up, love. So we at Kim's Cuban sandwiches. You know I had to stop and get some food before we go and do anything. So we just ordered our food and let's show you guys what we got. So we ordered a Frida egg and cheese and what it mainly is is like their Mexican sausage was called a churizo with egg and cheese and on Cuban bread. So we're gonna let y'all know how that tastes. I'm about to tear it up. It's a real heavy Cuban influence here in Key West. So this is an authentic Cuban place. So I can't wait to try the food, see how it tastes. I'm looking forward to it. I said, when we go to Key West, since they are so Cuban down there, I want to taste an authentic Cuban spot. So now we here at Kim's Cuban, about to try it out. I'm going to the We're going to tell you how it is, how it tastes. So this is what we got from Kim's Cuban right here. Hold it, open it up, hold it. As you see, I took a bite already, y'all. How is it? And it's so good. So what is it, Mexican? It's Mexican sausage, um, chorizo, and hamburger meat with egg and cheese. enough food before we hit the beach they say you must stop here and eat so we're gonna see what it's hitting for this burger sounds good oh, they got yeah but they ain't the ones that you like that we like should i say so this is what we're here for the venezuela um yellow corn pancake yeah, that's what i want to try that's what caught my eye Yeah, yes. that's what we want. It's awesome. Uh, it's sweet. We have different uh, like villains. We have pork chop. We have I'll get that chicken, tomorrow. See, go ahead, tease me. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get pulled pork. Pulled pork atapa. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. You got it. So we ordered a Venezuela pancake. It's basically like a corn pancake with pulled pork on it. And then that's some cheese. So the pancake usually has cheese and then you can add any topping you want. We're headed to the beach. I cannot wait. We'll see you guys at the beach. So we pulling up to the beach. What beach is this, love? It's Mother's Beach. Yeah, so about to see what this is hitting for. Got it on the vlog. Beach. We just ordered up our beach chairs and the umbrella. Follow me while Jake comes set us up for a beach day today, me and Biz.
and that water is a little different from Grand Cayman, but it's clear though. It's like a clear yellow tint. Water warm as I don't know what y'all. For real. But it got all this seaweed. So big dodging seaweed. We made it through. We got it to the other side. Yeah. We the storm. The sunny side now. <laughs> look how this water just switches up right here. That's all that seaweed. But look how it looks. It's a good job. Chilling in the water. Yeah, I heard get it. Get ready to get dressed and see more of Key West. Yeah, I heard her. That's the game plan from the Queen. Live and direct. It's our last day, so we figured we stop by the liquor store, grab a couple small bottles to turn up with, go out with a bang. You know what time it is? It's shot o'clock. It's five o'clock somewhere. Cheers. This is the Key West work day. <laughs> it's beautiful, but this is how a work day is when you're a CEO of a company and you got workers. Your work days consist of this. You know, a few shots of tequila, a few drinks of vodka. The beach, some food. CEO lifestyle is great. I would have thought this was a place where they perform in music, but nope, it's a Walgreens. <laughs> we thought it was a cinema. Ha, got him. You would have thought it was a cinema. It's a Walgreens. That's crazy. So we're back down here on Duval Street. Going up on a Wednesday. Look at the queen looking all good. Oh, God. in the stock market for it's time to leave getting all my stocks together for the opening bell it's a beautiful thing when you can make money around the world we got multiple businesses you know serial entrepreneurs that's how we able to do all this travel that's how we able to make these moves that we make you see us having fun but it's business being handled behind the scenes time to get up out of here stay tuned 
Last vibes, last checkout vibes. Make sure you got everything. Yes, got everything. Yes, I do. Last checkout vibes. Spin the room one last time. Make sure you got everything. Yes, Key West was fun, but it's time to go. One last view, one last hurrah. Yep. It was nice, Key West. We are ready to roll out. It was real Key West. Yes, really fun, and we'll come back again. Definitely. This was a quick little sampler. We like to go to places, sample it, see how it is, see if it's worth going. Key West is definitely worth going. It's a yes. party town. You can relax at the beach. They got food, so you know it's a go. But where are we going to go to next? Like, where? Where to next? Leave it in the comments. This is the southernmost sign that's popular. Everybody's coming to take a picture in front of it, as you can see. That line is crazy too, as you can see. To get in there to take the picture. Me and Bay was, but we only got a couple couple hours left. We want to spend it in standing in line in the heat. Ain't nobody got time for that. We trying to check out some of these famous restaurants. <laughs> Juice in Florida. Yup. Thank you. Look at that good song. Dude, that look good. We got to bust it down. Stay tuned for that food review. Yep. said it take 12 hours to make this French toast. And it's banging. It tastes like a pound cake. Really, I think it's pound cake. That's what it tastes like. Pound cake. How is it? It is good. You like so it? They, yep, so it's a ham and cheese croissant and they put like some cheese on top. Remind me of France. Wee oui, wee. Oui. That French toast is banging. Definitely thumbs up on that French toast. It was real good. I smashed it as you can see. Can I do really good small French box? toast though. I like it. It was different. It was like a pound cake. She liked it too. Yeah, I know I had some and it was real good. I just had a croissant, but the croissant was nice and fresh, like French cuisine. Ham and cheese croissant was good. Yeah. Mine but that was the toast. highlight. Yeah, the highlight. So definitely get the French toast if you come here. So we came down to their farmer's market. This is what their farmer's market looks like. They wants to get some fruit. So that's what we bought to do. Oh, I see them fruit cuts back there. So there's a whole nother beach right here. Higgs Beach. Higgs Beach. When we do our double back around, we gotta go with that beach with that. That sand was looking nice, white, nice and white and clear. To the airport, it's small. It's a breeze to return a car here. This airport. 
tiny. They got a little restaurant in there. They got a couple things, but it's tiny. So this is the last call beach bar in the airport. One last beach bar. 